Hi, I'm Lucy Ellis and I'm here at Bio Europe Spring in Stockholm in Sweden and I'm joined now by Ben Owens, the Head of Business Development for EUSA Pharma. We just kind of have a bit of a chat about what the company's been up to since it was founded in 2015. So thanks for joining us, Ben. Thanks for having me. So could you tell us a bit more about the history of the company? I think it was quite interesting. I can. So the original version of EUSA Pharma was formed back in 2006, um, led by Brian Morton, uh, the CEO at the time. And they went on a very exciting journey focusing on specialty pharma through multiple M&A acquisitions of products, leading eventually to the acquisition by Jazz Pharmaceuticals in 2012. <clears throat> After a period within Jazz, um, the management team and, and in, indeed again Brian Morton, who's now the chairman, formed um, and span out some of the non-core Jazz assets around a new pharma, a use of pharma, same name but the new generation Mark II of EUSA. We have the same private equity funding backing Essex Woodlands Health Ventures uh, and now we're on a new journey, fully independent from Jazz, fully set up um, to acquire new products and really push forward the development of an exciting global specialty pharma company. Brilliant, so, so where are you based now then? So we're headquartered uh, just north of London in Hemel Hempstead in the UK. Uh, we have an office of around 12 people in Lyon, south of France and we have a small office in Hamilton in New Jersey. Okay, and so what are your core focus areas now? So we have two major core areas. We have a focus in oncology. We have a profitable uh, portfolio of specialty pharma products, including Cafasol, a product for the treatment of oral mucositis. We also have a product called Colotemp, which is a gentamicin embedded collagen sponge used in the management of um, surgical site infections. And through our business development efforts, we're now expanding further to, into oncology. Uh, and seeking to do deals around new specialty, specialty pharma secondary care products. Brilliant. Okay, so you're based in the UK, but you want to build like quite a strong international presence. So how are you going to do that, and where are you focusing on? Indeed. So we we have a headquarters. So the head of the, all the the central core office functions are based in the UK, but we have direct presence uh, in France, Germany, Portugal, uh, Italy. Uh, not not Italy yet, actually. Uh, Austria and Poland. And one of the key elements that we have with our strategy around the new product is expanding into Spain, Italy and the Nordics um, to launch our, the new product that we're currently, is currently under regulatory review. Okay, so, so that's a key area for us. Yeah. Definitely. And you mentioned Italy then, so are there other regions that you'd like to be more active in? So Italy, Spain and Nordics will be a core focus for our next direct teams. Um, we have a small presence in the US um, and what we are aiming to do this year with our, with our BD and our M&A activity is to really expand and solidify our US presence around the small, um, the small presence we currently have in, in, in Hamilton. So you have big plans for growth for the company. How are you going to lead that charge? We do, and we were very excited just before Christmas to announce the, the acquisition of EU, Latin American, African and Australasian rights to, to Vosinib, which is a highly selective tyrosine kinase inhibitor uh, with the first indication in renal cell carcinoma. Our own in-house regulatory team submitted that to the EMA for approval end of February. So we're in the regulatory process for the first line treatment of, uh, of renal cell patients. And the, the, that in itself will drive tremendous transformative growth in the user. The features of the product are very interesting. It's got incredibly uh, favorable tolerability profile, meaning it's very well suited to combination with checkpoint inhibitors. Um, but also there's a lot of scope for development of the asset in colorectal cancer, um, where there's solid phase two data and we were starting to explore the possibility of a, a biomarker driven phase three in colorectal. So really, at the moment, Tavosinib is the key driving asset for, for the growth of a user, but we are heavily active in both license, asset licensing but also M&A assessment, particularly in acquiring or developing our presence in the US. So we're multiple approaches to growth, driven, driven around the new product, but also looking for other opportunities to expand the business. And obviously you're at a partnering conference right now, so what are you really looking for? So a, a lot of the discussions we've already had and have coming up in the next day and a half are around Tavosinib. Um, either development or potential partnering in territories such as Latin America. Um, the other things that we're, we're heavily focused on are new products. So we're very keen to explore opportunities, either licensing in the US for products, which are all building through M&A in the US, also other specialty pharma focused assets that we can bring into our current team across Europe uh, that allow us to grow the business. So a mixture of things really. Great. And a bit of fun catching up with old <laughs> colleagues and things like that. There's a lot going on. So, yeah. But finally then, where do you see yourselves uh, long term? Five or ten years time, where do you want to be? Well, ideally in five years time, Tavosinib will be generating, throwing off over 150 million euros in revenue, hopefully expanded into other indications. And of course, we'll have added multiple products to the, pipe, to the portfolio by then. Um, so we're really 
geared up and focused on building a, a really highly effective specialty pharma company uh, in both in Europe and also in the US. So it's so a great take two for the company. It is. It's uh, the second generation, back, bigger, better, and hopefully driving the same success that the original use of pharma did uh, uh, with, the, with the first iteration of the company. So we're all very excited and fully committed to, to the, the journey moving forward. Brilliant. Well, thanks for joining us, Ben. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you.